So if you've been logging into this game, you may have gotten this choosable ticket scout where you can select any characters up to the progressive units, the fire element ones, as long as they're not limited. Because I'm definitely not late to this. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But it's okay. We get another one. We get a part two and you get another choosable. And it's the other, you know, it's the, another one of the 124 characters, which is this one. So I'm going to talk about which characters are great to get, especially for the new people who are playing this game. And maybe the veterans will ha have an idea or unless you already have every character then it doesn't matter all right so let me just give you like a quick synopsis type of thing the characters on top are definitely going to be much much stronger in terms of damage compared to everyone in the bottom so keep that in mind if you just want a character that's strong you don't care about their abilities and whatnot now for the new people i wouldn't really get anyone down here except for one character i'll explain that later now i would though recommend when you start a new account, you should definitely reroll until you get this Alice. And the reason I say that is because she has an AOE, which hits everyone. So she is going to carry you through a lot of your quests, your missions until you start getting your diamond cubes. So you can get stronger in the game, your EXP level up your characters. But that's only if you reroll. I would not get her with this ticket scout that is a waste now there's a couple things that i'm going to talk about which character for each element uh should you get to deal more damage which is the best charge gel character that you should get maybe even break gel because if you have a new account you may have trouble with those enemies with high incarnate and then we'll even talk about an overall character if you don't care which one but you just want a good character we'll talk about that as well now let's start with that one uh, if you don't care about elements you just want a really good character which character out of everyone here should you get? You don't care about meta, you don't care about anything, you just want a good character. In my opinion, I would definitely say this Abyss Aedis right here. Now once you level her, you get all of her abilities, and the one that's super important is when you unlock her enhance mode. Now the reason that she's super important with her enhance mode uh, is because of the second part of her skills with enhance mode. When she gets attacked, uh, after you use a skill with her in enhance mode, she will heal herself every time. As long as, I think, as long as you have the enhance mode up. But not only that, she has a strong skill called super strong continuous damage. Now, every time you hit a, a boss or an enemy with the skill, it stacks up. And the more you stack it up, I think you go up to eight times, uh, the more damage it'll deal. And it can deal insane damage where if you've done it properly, you can deal like 100,000 per enemy turn and she's also strong as she is she'll deal damage and her incarnate is pretty beefy too as long as you have the recollection field step three or higher but that's if you don't care about every character in here now let's talk about which characters are good in terms of their element now like i mentioned earlier the characters on top here they are doing the most damage compared to everyone in the bottom for the most part so for example for fire element Compared to the progressive units, Asuna is definitely the one that deals the most. And of course, for water, uh, this Aedis here uh, deals the most. Let me give you hindsight with the current rank event going on right now. I had her deal a million damage, so she's pretty good. Now, with non-element, you may think it's Shada, but I personally, uh, I still like Iskon way more than that Shada. Now, Shada may be a bit stronger just because she has enhance mode, which if you don't know what enhance mode is, basically it strengthens your skills, but it does cost more AP to use your skills. And there's some enhances where it has uh, other like debuffs or maybe even buffs. So in her case, it's lower physical resistance of all enemies. So there's a reason that I like Iskon a little bit more. So if you get duplicates, you get a thing called Imaginariums. When you get more of his Imaginariums, his charge here is going to skyrocket your charge it's going to be great which is used to use your incarnate skills but it also inflicts super strong continuous damage just like the abyss Aedis i just showed you and just like her if you stack up that total continuous damage super strong you can deal up to like 100k if you've done it right and also his incarnate here it's beefy it's strong now for wind although i did say the people on top deal more damage than the people on the bottom uh, i'm not too big of a fan of Nergius. i think that's how you say his name properly and that's because with his incarnate his slash attack is on all enemies now that is helpful uh for new players just to clear out a lot of things but there's a reason why i don't really like him as much i still believe if an enemy were to hit all enemies uh they're not dealing the most damage that they can deal compared to a character who's hitting only one enemy it always seems like they deal a little bit less damage which is very unfortunate i still personally like this kirito way more which is the 
wind element kirito a little bit under he has enhanced mode and he has a pretty good charge as well and of course his incarnate is pretty strong too that's completely up to you if you want to get nergius or kirito i would personally say kirito but if you get nergius i don't blame you earth element the one that we have at the very top that's pretty recent is this east con now with the dudes incarnate it is pretty beefy but to be honest a lot of the characters here uh, for earth element aren't really that good so i'd rather get a supporter character for earth elements until there's a better character in the future so if you were to choose in this scout i would still take up either the sub delegate asana or the one next to her which is delegate kirito his incarnate does have an aoe a bit a little bit of a noof but it is good for new players who want to clear things but his charge is good his active link is with that asana and his skills are, are pretty all right but the reason that i do like this asana a little bit more is because of this charge gel and like i said i'll talk about charge gel later but she's a great supporter and she heals your units including the reserve characters which if you don't know who the reserve characters are you have six people in your party only four of them are put in the, the battlefield Two of them are left out. Those are your reserve characters. So she'll heal everyone, including those two. Holy Element, the latest one we have is the Sleefa, but is she great? She does have some strong skills that deal more damage if they have a physical resistance debuff or magic res. A lot of the Holy Element characters here aren't that good. So honestly, out of everyone in terms of damage, I would probably choose that Leafa. There is that progressive Austin. Awesome. She's all right. And for the Adas and Kirito down here, they're not that good anymore. This dude is probably a little bit more helpful because of his enhanced to bring up attack uh, for all of your allies. But for support, this Yuki is great. And again, it's because of that charge yield. Now, I think that's all the elements for in terms of damage. Now, let me tell you about charge yield. Why do you want a character with charge yield? All right, a charge yield is like this OG Leafa here. This enhance, if I give it to a character with charge, which uh, this Unital Ring Alice does have a charge. So if we give it to her, let's look at how much charge she gives. Now, this is a regular charge. If I were to charge with this Adis who doesn't have a charge yield, it goes from 95 to 128. Now, if we did it with this Alice here, it's now 95 to 159. And of course, it'll be much more if you get a times one like this. But, you know, that's just if you're new. See, look, 230%. Pretty nice. Now, who is the best charge yeller? You don't care about the elements. Uh, which one out of every character is the best charge yeller? And I just showed it during that. But I do believe it is this OG Leafa as of right now. Currently, she's the only charge yeller that has EX, where she's able to do an incarnate with another person. So two incarnates at once, as long as you have 200% or more incarnate. She's the only charge yeller uh, that's able to do that right now. And as you saw, even though it's a water ranking, I'm still using her even though she's wind. Now, of course, she's pretty easy to get. Even if you get shafted in regular banners, uh, you should be able to get her or even ticket scouts because she's one of the first characters. Or maybe she's your first character when you start start the game so which other characters have that same charge yell that you should get for the other elements if you scroll down almost near the middle uh there's this dark element leafa who also has a charge yell earth element i mentioned earlier it's a sub delegate asana a little under that leafa she also has that charge yell a little under again this holy element halloween yuki she also has that charge yell for water element uh near the end in the beginning there's this water asana here who also has the charge yell a little under the middle there's a fire element shada she also has a charge yell and last but not least i think it's the og leafa now notice how a lot of these characters only very few of them had charge gel that's why i prioritize those units but yeah overall uh, i still think she's the best one to have but would i use the choosable ticket for her maybe not but if you really want her you can now there is another skill called break yell very similar to charge gel except this one helps your break the this isn't really as important anymore because of the meta but let's say you do need a break yell so if you don't know what break yell is you see how on the top it says 290 if i did a break it goes down to 227 now let us apply the break yell on that Kirito. Now it'll go down to 132.5. Now same as last time, who was the best uh, break yeller? Now I personally think out of all the break yell characters, I think OG Adis, which is near the bottom, I think she is the best uh, break yell character to have because not only does she have EX like the Rooney I just showcased, but she has uh, a healing cure that's also an AoE and heals all your allies, not the reserves though. And she could do that double incarnate with her and another character doing two incarnates at the same time. So I think she's one of the best alongside uh, with this Ronier, like I showed earlier. Now, other characters that may have this that you may want. As I showed earlier, there's a fire element Ronier who also 
uh, has the break yell. Okay, maybe I missed it, but let me just say it, it's not really as important anymore. So really just keep those two in mind if you want to break yeller. And now for the last thing that's super important, how do you deal the most damage? There are characters, let's say for example, this Quinella, who give off recollection field. Now, why is recollection field so important? But the new Demon Lord Kirito that came out, I have a recollection field ring that gives 8% four times when the water element recollection field is step three or higher. So that's a total of like, what, 32%? Do you want to deal this sort of damage in your games? Oh, my face cam covered 2.34 million, hello? Do you want to deal this sort of damage in your game? or even this sort of damage in your game it would have been cooler if it was faster hmm. Hmm. so anyway where was i yeah you need characters with that recollection field now recollection field very much varies on your team so that's why there is currently no best like out of everyone there's no best single unit that does recollection for everything so let's say you're focused on a fire element team then of course you have this notable uh quinella here a special recollection field but this is a special one so while you have this recollection field charges uh increase so you'll have more charge if you remember this dark element asana at the top who also has special recollection field for dark element just like quinella uh brings up that charge to be better when you use a charge for non-element here it's still pretty near the top this yuna also has a special recollection field again with charge uh this yuki here that i showcased earlier uh who also has that charge gel she also has a special recollection field for light element charge why is it all charged i know there's others with more i think this water element yujo here eternal ice he also has recollection fields yeah hit by three but he helps with water element mp he's right next to yuki for wind element you have this asana here this wind asana who gives special recollection field for wind element minus 10% MP. I might be missing people, uh, but those are those right now so far. But overall, just know that when you do scouts, all of these characters here will be in the general pool. Uh, what, do you, what do I mean by that? If you get shafted in a scout, let's say like I did in my last video when I was doing this uh, Demon Lord Kirito, I've gotten some of those characters during his scout. So don't be sad if you don't go at a specific unit. You can always get them again some other time. Might not be now, but you can get them later. But really just get a character that you may want. Like I already have a lot of these characters already, but the one I'm eyeing on is this Renly, mostly because of his buffs. He was pretty useful in the last ranking event. I didn't really know until like later. But for me, it's gonna go with what they used to call him Renry. <laughs> I still like to make fun of that name. They did it and I will never let it go. He looks good. A man's looking good. Anyways, I, I hope that helped you. I'll give you a little insight of which character is good or not to get. Obviously, it's up to you. It's your choice. This is just what I recommend. Thank you so much for watching this video of Soda on Unleashed Blading. If you guys enjoyed, why not leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you are new. And if you want to join, I have a Discord at the bottom of the description. You click on that link and you're sent right to my Discord. But thank you so much for watching. My name is Kaz. Hope you have a fantastic day. And I'll see you guys all again in the next video. Goodbye.